Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about circuit breaker and wire size. So basically in these panels behind me uh, are obviously a bunch of circuit breakers and a bunch of wire sizes. So it's very important to get them correct. So stick around. How to wire a new residential construction. Now, as you can see here, um, we have uh, a couple of panels and we have a number of different uh, breakers. They're color coded. So these breakers were actually made by uh, Stablock or Federal Pioneer or Federal Pacific or whatever you want to call them um, at some point in time. And they're now discontinued. But the good thing about them for the purposes of this video is they're color coded. So the red ones are 20 amp, uh, the blue ones are 15 amp, and the green ones are 30 amp, and so on. So if we get a close up there, you can see uh, that they're 15 amp there, and then the 20 amp. Now over in this panel, uh, you'll see likewise the same thing. We have some single pole 20s, uh, the 15 amp and so on. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and remove the panel covers um, and then we'll uh, have a look inside. So when discussing circuit breaker and wire size a lot of factors come into play. As the circuit breaker size goes up the wire size goes down. So that may be opposite of what you think uh, but basically as an example a 15 amp circuit breaker is rated for 14 gauge wire or which is good for 15 amps. A 20 amp circuit breaker is rated for 12 gauge wire which is good for 20 amps. A 30 amp circuit breaker is rated for 10 gauge wire or 30 amps and so on right up through. Now there may be some discrepancy uh, as codes do change but as a general rule of thumb they've been that, like that for years. Uh, there are some examples and some instances where us electricians can oversize the wire a little bit or sorry undersize the wire a little bit uh, and go on a little larger circuit breaker but in most cases we're stuck with those standard sizes. Now as we take a closer look you can see that the 15 amp breakers here are related to the 15 amp wires or the 14 gauge wires. Uh, you can also see that the 20 amp breakers are related to the 12 gauge wire or the red wire outside the panel here. And then the 30, uh, as you can see this wire is a little bit bigger here, you see. So now as we move on, um, as we get larger, this is actually a 60 amp breaker on a piece of number 6. So it, it corresponds as it goes right up through. And you can also see over on this panel, it's the same thing. So we actually have that on a 50 amp breaker, which is undersized for the wire, uh, which is appropriate. And then you can see we have our 15s and etc. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. First of all, as electricians, we go into these panels. Uh, the reason they came out with circuit breakers is one for the trip rating and two for so consumers can't really mess with the uh, size of the circuit breakers. Uh, as opposed to wire, so there's no reason why you should have your finger in the in your fingers in these panels, unless you're an electrician or you're you're confident with it. And I also should mention that you shouldn't uh, do your own electrical work. You should always consult your local licensed electrician. Now, one of the main things that they gotten rid of fuse panels for, uh, the continuous problem with fuse panels, is that the wiring inside the fuse panel let's say it was a piece of 14 gauge wire and it was rated for 15 amps and you had a 15 amp breaker so I'm gonna, or 15 amp fuse sorry so I'm gonna focus in on that one and you can see the back of the fuse there it's rounded okay so that's meant to go into uh, a 15 amp fuse holder that the fuse holders have knobs on the back uh, and this is so that you can't screw them into a smaller screw, uh, fuse size the problem with this is in older homes that have fuse panels, um, the fuses would pop. So people would stick a larger fuse in the fuse socket to allow more power to go through. 
which technically it does. However, the wire is not rated for it. So if the wire is not rated for it, what starts to happen is the wire heats up and then you get loose connections and you cause a fire. So the way around that, they made these, these fuse holders that went in, or fuse reducers I should say, that went in and stopped the consumer from putting a bigger fuse in. The problem with that is, is they come out after a while, people smartened up how to take them out and they put a bigger fuse in anyway. And I don't know how many times we've been into a home with an old fuse panel that we've seen 30 amp fuses stuck where 15 amp fuses should be. Because uh, they grab whatever they can to get the power back on and they stick a 30 amp fuse. And this is how fires happen. So we want to try to avoid that, which is one of the primary reasons why they got away from them and went to breaker panels. Now the breaker panels, obviously you, you can't just change a wire, so or sorry, you can't just change a breaker without having the panel cover removed. So they've made it a lot more difficult for you to do that, uh, which is a good thing. I guess what I'm trying to say to take away from this video is that there's a certain size wire rated for a certain size breaker and that shouldn't be changed. Uh, if it's changed, then you're going to run into issues with overheating and you're going to run in, into issues with fire. And back to what I was saying about these fuses, you see here they've made this 30 amp fuse, but on the back there's no little ribs to stop it from going into a 15 amp socket. Now it is a little larger, but you can screw it right into a 15 amp fuse socket holder, uh, which isn't good. So this is why we're saying to stay away from these and get a proper breaker panel. Now we'll put a link in the description below on what we use for uh, breaker panels uh, so you can recommend them to your electrician. Uh, there's a, a number of good ones. The one behind me now is actually discontinued, um, but Squared E makes a great panel. Eaton, um, which is also known as Cutler Hammer, and uh, Murray or ITE or Siemens, uh, whichever you want to call it. So we hope you liked uh, this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.